All right, I'm, I'm here on this big commercial job and I just wanted to point some stuff out to you. You see the center of that tape right there? It's, uh, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's because whoever taped this originally, they just taped the drywall, that's all they did. They didn't um, pre-fill it. They didn't pre-fill it with Durabond. So you can't see you can see it just a teeny tiny bit, but it's not, I mean, it's not here at all. You can see the outline of the tape, but there is no center of the tape because, because the mud didn't shrink up into the center of the tape. So when you're looking at that wall in there, you got to realize that in between all of those seams, it's soft conventional drywall mud. There's no hard mud in between there. So this wall is consisted of one, two, three, four, five, six panels of drywall, right? Because I put Durabond in this wall, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six panels of drywall in this wall, but it's one solid panel because, because the wall itself is one solid piece now, where this wall is made up of four or five different pieces. And if something does happen here, if something happens on this wall here and it creates this wall to move, all of these seams are gonna pop and crack. I believe that's the importance of pre-fill. It's gonna turn this wall into one solid wall. You know, or if I had, this wall had been pre-filled, it'd be one solid wall, not just six separate panels. Once you put Durabond in between these seams, it makes it a really hard for this thing to move. I mean, it has to move in the angles. It won't move in the field. Um, if you look over here, if you look back there, you can see the control joints back there. Can't zoom in or out, all right. But, but back here we have control joints on this wall because it's a long, super long wall and it needs a place to get. If you notice, I put one above the door over here right above the door. I have a control joint there too, because again, this is a really, really long surface. But had I not pre-filled these walls, and this was wood, wood expands and contracts, expands and contracts, uh, these walls would never hold up. I would have these blisters right down the center of the seam where the wood, ex where, the, where the sheets got pushed together so hard, it just crushed the existing mud that's in there, the soft mud, it would just crush it into powder and it would leave this bulge sticking out there and then you cut it out and it's just powder underneath there because it was never pre-filled. Pre-filling is very important, people, very important when it comes to drywall. Uh, it's probably one of the most important things when you're taping and finishing to pre-fill these seams before you tape them. You're gonna have a much stronger surface. You're gonna have a complete solid piece of, of drywall there rather than each individual panel with some soft mud in between. Have a good day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.